how's it going? Beer drinkers, YouTube around, Sean, Piper Brewing again, again, again. Another one from Von Trap Brewing. You know, from the sound of music. I've already done one from these guys. They're Vienna, Vienna, Vienna Lager. Um, today is their their Dunkel Dark Lager. Um, 5.7% alcohol. 22 IBUs. Stow Vermont. Best Buy. 4824. Got a couple months left at the time of viewing. I have drank this one already. I picked it up once, meaning to do a review for it. Couldn't wait. It just kept calling my name. I had to have it. I drank it before I could review it. Um, so I've already had it within the last couple weeks. Um, and I highly enjoyed it. So looking forward to indulging in this wonderfulness again. If you haven't had these guys yet, I, I highly suggest seeking them out. A little bit label out there. Um, there's, a, there's something about dark lager that I enjoy, especially in the colder months um, when it starts to get chilly. So it's like from fall to spring, I'm a dark lager kind of a guy. And this is a beautiful dark lager. Pour is a dark dark amber almost brown um like borderline brown ale in a way very dark ruby amber uh, a little over two fingers of a kind of caramely um not quite mocha but definitely caramely creamy thick bubbly head Like, it is a beautiful looking beer. And I can remember thinking that the last time I poured this, so. Molasses. Almost like a little bit of raisin prune. A little bit of that bready, like, crackery, bready, bready yeast going on with it. Like. Yeah, like a sweet, um. Brown sugar, molasses. I'm like a, like a, like a bread almost, um, like a almost a dessert bread. Not quite a coffee, coffee bread or coffee cake, whatever you want to call it, but it, it has that essence to it, uh, minus the the coffee. But yeah, it's got that molasses, toffee, caramel, a little bit of like warm, not so much spice, but close to it. The best way I can explain it, like it's just. Something about these beers, the look of them, the smell of them, it, it just, I don't know, it, it screams colder months, winter, warm me up. Mm. Good, decent body on it. Has a little bit of a thickness to it. So it coats your whole mouth and just feels like it's pulling everything with it. Sweet burnt brown sugar, toffee, um, a little bit of that, that snappy, is it snappy? Crisp, crisp bite that you get from the yeast. 5.7, I just want to take big gulps of this. Um, very flavorful, smooth. There's a, there's a good, uh, roasted malts flavor to it, but it's very rich in flavor. It just rolls through your mouth. It's just, this is a fantastic dunkel. I'm not gonna lie. It, 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 I don't know. it, it tastes fantastic to me. Like, I would rate this a 4.2, 4.5 all day. I could easily put down a six pack of these with no issue. And I don't, I don't know why, it's just, it, it's got a good taste to it. It's got a good body to it. It's got a good all-around, like, aroma. I don't know what they're doing up there. And Stowe, Vermont seems to be the hotbed. I mean, you had, the Alchemist came out of there. You got these guys, I don't know if it's the water that they're using up there. Or what they're doing in Stowe, Vermont. But they put out some, some fantastic beers out of that that town, that's 
C, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this is fantastic. Warming, a little bit of spice, that burnt caramely toffee sugar, the crispness to it. It's everything about it is just, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm glad I picked it up again. I'm glad I couldn't wait and I had it before so I could just have this again. I could easily, I, I guess I easily pick this up. I'm not sure of the distribution. I always get these guys in like a six pack, mix pack selection type of a deal. I'm not sure price range, all that. But if you see them out and about, if not, see if you can trade with somebody to get some of these guys because I'm enjoying them. This is my second one. Still got two more to go. So thank you for watching. Until next time, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me. I'm on Untapped, Instagram, the Piping Brew Nerd on all those. So thank you for watching. Until next time, cheers.